that's probably the longest wedding that anyone's ever been to. No, I'm serious. I've worked one wedding before in film shooting a fake wedding. They take forever. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1. How was this an hour and 57 minutes long? How was this even an hour and a half? How was this over an hour? This has got to be some of the lamest padding I've ever seen. You can blame the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2 for jumping on this train because they did even though it was completely unnecessary. I've heard it's also the longest book in this series, but I don't even know how it's long in the book either. It is boring. The first 38 minutes is the wedding, and then they go off on their little honeymoon. They get a boogity. Turns out she got pregos. And then they come back and there's whole this bit about the treaty between the wolves and the vampires. And Bella's at the center of it because they did the hoodoo and her little thingamabob is apparently the spawn of Satan and whatnot. About an hour and a half in, the baby happens and then she dies and that's it. That's, that's the movie, essentially. Is there anything good in this movie? Surprisingly enough, there is one good scene. And funnily enough, it involves Taylor Lautner, but not actually him. It's his CG wolf him. At the point when they find out that Bella's pregnant, the wolves all of a sudden converge, and they all run to this lumber yard. The, the effects don't look that great. They admittedly look quite poor. The shadows on the wolves don't work well. And admittedly, the CG in this whole movie is fucking horrible. Sure, it was 2012, and I know that this movie did have not as much money as, say, the Avengers and whatnot, but considering how much there was, I'm still surprised at how cruddy the visual effects are. And I'm not just talking about the weird demon face baby thing. I'm talking about when they're in the water. You can see this ripple line on the screen that shows where the water is real and then where it's cropped in. It's so bad. It's right there, right at their midsections. You just see this kind of along their line. The wolves don't look great until they have their meeting, when they start to talk about Bella's demon child. And there's this really cool interaction between Sam, what's his name? The wolf leader and Jacob. And it's all done through wolf mannerisms. And it's intense. I remember just going from being on my phone to being, it was honestly that engaging. Everyone else who was watching it thought, oh wow, the movie just got good all of a sudden. It goes right back to being garbage, don't get me wrong. But the combination of the good visuals, which just so happened, like honestly, the visual effects do do this. Like they, they'll, they'll get good, but then they crash back down again. But the good visuals, the interpretation of the wolves, hell, I might even give them credit and maybe they saw how wolves actually interact in terms of being pack leaders. That might be a stretch, but just in terms of how they interact with each other, it's a bit dramatic, sure, but it is quite entertaining to see. And then that's it. That's the only entertaining part of the movie. Maybe you could also say the part where they cut the baby out. <laughs> what freaking Edward harm into the baby to get the baby out? That part was hilarious. It was also really creepy. There's a weird horror element in that scene with how it's shot and then just her going like her back full on breaking and the baby just literally tearing itself out of her the visual effects also for her go back and forth between looking fake as fuck to being like wow Kristen stewart actually looks like a goddamn blood sucked human being like a full-on anorexic twig like just crazy how good it looks sometimes sometimes but it still doesn't excuse the movie for dragging on way longer than it should the wedding scene goes on forever. And I make the comment about how this is probably the longest wedding any of them in their lives had ever seen. The only other thing that I could say is possibly an East Indian wedding, because sometimes those things can go for like a week. But this was at least, I don't know, three days maybe? I worked on a Hallmark movie once where we did a fake wedding scene, and it was really short. All it was was them like all standing at the altar, everyone standing up, bride and groom walking down, 
and then them exchanging the most basic of cookie cutter vows and then walking back down again that took all goddamn day and this one has a weird quasi well technically there's two because there's the one where she has the dream where everyone's in white and then all of a sudden there's this pile of corpses which mean nothing absolutely nothing and then we get the real wedding which admittedly yes it looks nice probably a wedding planner's goddamn wet dream still very very long and unimportant jacob is still just oh it's just so fucking rapey i know that i shouldn't be in edward's corner in this because they're both goddamn weirdos but at least he has some boundaries whereas jacob is weird red flags every time he says something to bella just bing red flag bing red flag jacob lautner give that guy credit yeah he got in a shape is he a good actor fucking god no there's a reason why he completely fell off the entire planet after this movie he tried that abduction film and they're like oh wow you're actually a really bad actor i honestly cannot fathom how this is so long there's that whole bit in brazil where they try to find out the demonology because the one crazy Mexican lady is like, ah, you're a demon! There, that kind of goes nowhere. There is the bits about them trying to defend themselves from the other wolves. It's honestly, guys, it's just, it's, it, this is probably the most unimportant one. When you have two interesting scenes, one is an hour in and the other is an hour and a half in, no. One more, one more, and that's when the Voltori or whatever the hell are, Martin Sheen, who Apparently he did this this role for his daughter. There's a post credit scene in this movie. He appears, he's like, oh yes, we're gonna have to take down the Cullens because we're bad guys. Now, honestly, guys, this is a bad movie, very poorly put together, very, very unenjoyable film. I will never watch this movie again, but I will make fun of it. But in the end, my rating for Breaking Dawn Part 1 is a 1 out of 7. I can't even condone a two when your movie's two hours long and you've got maybe three minutes of entertaining content no you can't fathom that anyways guys that's all for me that's my review of breaking dawn part one one more fucking movie to go uh, let's hope that that's fun uh this is actually my new lighting setup i might have already done a video talking about this but it's a little bit more shadow heavy so i'm gonna have to work on that i can see but I am happy to be off of the lights that I've had for six years. But whether I've talked about that or not, regardless, I'm just happy to be off of them. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.